Hi, I'm Austin, and this is PPC for Everyone, the channel where we provide tutorials and guides on how to set up and optimize your pay-per-click marketing campaigns. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to create and upload a customer match list to your Google Ads account using a spreadsheet. So I'm going to jump right in into the Google Ads account that I'm working with. This is my sample store, so it's not running any ads. Once you log into your Google Ads account, simply go to the Tools and Settings section, then Audience Manager, and then make sure that in the Audience Manager you're on the Segments tab over here on the left-hand light gray column. And then in the Segments tab, click Create Remarketing List. Select Customer List, and then from here, you're ready to start uploading the list. I'll start by giving it a name. So let's say I have a Shopify store and I'm going to append the date that I'm uploading the list on so that I can remember later when I look back at this when this data is from. So let's just say it's August 12th, 2021. And I'm going to select the top option. I'm not using user IDs or mobile IDs. That's a different topic. So I'll just stick with the default and then I'll click this use a template button. You'll download us a CSV file that you can fill out with your customer data. So here's that template that I've placed into Google Sheets and the top is just instructions. You can actually leave the instructions in, they'll be ignored. I'm gonna delete them for this example so I'm going to delete these, and then what I'm left with is the recommended and required fields. So email, first name, last name, country, zip. Yeah, you can double check this here. It actually it does specify what must be included. So the phone, first name, last name, country, zip. A few things that need explaining here are the uh, phone numbers. You can see that there are different formats. There's a phone number with a dash, there's a phone number without a dash, there's a phone number with parentheses and a dash. All of those formats are acceptable. The important thing to remember is that you need the country code to start the phone number. So if your customer phone number, let's say, is a US customer, or sorry, let's say your customer is from the US and the phone number you have doesn't include the one, you'll have to add that so that Google has a country code at the beginning, beginning of that phone number. You'll also notice that there's multiple zip and phone number uh, and email fields here. That's because if you might have multiple multiples of those for your customers. I don't, so I'll just delete them. And then what I'm left with is a uh, list that's ready to go. Now, normally, you'd have a lot more in here, a lot more data, and so I would review it all carefully to make sure that one, your phone numbers have the country code that your zip, then two, that your zip codes are correct, three, that your country codes are right, so you don't, you can't have that as your country code. It has to be this format, uh, the two letter format, and then make sure that your email addresses don't have errors, like for example, uh, this junk like that will, might come in sometimes. But this is done, actually, so now that I'm done with it, I'll, I'm gonna download a CSV version of it to upload to Google Ads and I've already done that and so I'll just from my desktop upload that list and then I'm gonna leave it as upload as plain text data don't select upload hash data unless that's what you're doing I won't get into that in that video then you have to tick the box to confirm that you've collected the customer data in compliance with Google's uh, customer match policies. We'll hit those at the end of the video, but in short, you can't use a purchased email list. These have to be actual customers who gave you their contact info upon purchasing something from your store, or customers who gave you their contact information in some other way that's compliant with the match policies. Last two steps are the duration. You don't have to choose a duration. Membership in this audience can last for an unlimited time period. But let's say, for whatever reason, your store, you just know that people are not eligible or won't make a purchase with you after 90 days, so you could add that here so that people automatically expire from the list in 90 days. Uh, in our case, I'll just leave it as no expiration. 
And then last, a description. Here I'm ready, so I'll just hit upload and create. And that is all there is to making a customer match list. Um, so if that's all you needed, then you're done. You know how to do that now. Uh, for the last part of the video, I'll just quickly cover some of Google's policies and then what a customer match list literally is. is. So let's jump into that. I'll link these articles in the description. The customer match list, what it is specifically, what it's actually doing is described here in the how it works section. So when you upload your customer data to Google Ads, what it's doing is it's going to look at your customer data and try to match that with people who use its products. So that would be specifically someone who has a Gmail account. So let's say I'm in your customer match list and I have a Gmail account and I have uh, logged into YouTube or Gmail or some other Google product. At that point, I'm eligible to view your ads, ads that you target with this audience, because I'm in your customer list and Google has matched me to that list using my Gmail account. What that means for, for this list is that it won't actually target people who don't have a Gmail account or who are logged into a machine in which they're not logged into their personal accounts or the account with which um, they made a purchase on your store. So that could be someone who's at a work computer or who's on a friend's computer uh, logged into a different Gmail account or no Gmail account at all. Those people won't be able to uh, be shown your ad. But um, lots of people have Gmail accounts and so it's more than likely that over half of the people in your customer match list could be matched with an actual Gmail account and be eligible to view an ad. All right, so that's the uh, main consideration here. I, I did want to point out the customer match list policies, but really, the, the to put it simply for this video, it just has to be someone who's voluntarily given you their contact info, whether they purchased on the store or gave you their contact info in some other way. They have to have agreed to give it to you, so you cannot purchase an email list and upload that. That that would violate the policy. All right, so that's it for uploading a customer match list. There's faster ways to do this. You could do this using, for example, a Zapier integration to automatically send customer data to your Google Ads account to populate customer match lists uh, without this manual process. I'll link to that video below too. That's a recommended method of doing this, but there are more requirements for the Google Ads account for you to be able to access that feature. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to answer your questions as best I can. If you found this video helpful and learned something, uh, consider subscribing so that you can be notified when we post more content to our channel. All right, thank you for watching.